Hey guys, Super Council Final Wars here, and this is going to be the first chapter of Super Council Final Wars. And Akame, Firepower and Speed of Death. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's start. <clears throat> Akame and, of course, Night Raid set out to do another assassination or anything. Mainly, they discovered a family that was torturing and killing some people who were outside of, out of this country. And ended up bringing in the Earth Defenders by the name of Karen's out three, Silver Tells and Super Burning Godzilla Dark Dragon, Super Godzilla Earth, and of course Mecha Super Godzilla Earth. While they were on their way, a common could not to look at Karen's out three. So are you friends with Super Final Wars? Because you seem to know him a lot. You can say that, Akame. Both me and Zolta have known Super Final Wars since we were kids. But in a way, we're kind of more like childhood old friends. We never realized he took the job of being an assassin. Well, I guess you can gaze to it. Gears out 3 looked curiously at Akame. Did you knew Super Final Wars? Well, you could say I was close with him. Gears out 3's eyes were widened. Oh my god. Are you? Yes, I'm his girlfriend. When did you start dating with when did you and him started dating? Five years ago. When he met, when he died. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. That's fine. It's really our fault. We couldn't get there in time. Plus, if we known that he was working with a group of assassins, we would have gotten there sooner. It's really our fault, within a way. Instantly, the group got interrupted by hearing gunshots and screaming. And it turns out to be at the place where they were going, going to do their. well, to assassinate the fam. I mean, that was committing a lot of crimes. That's weird. Did someone else beat it? Beat us there? By the way, the scream sound. Your answer is probably yes. When they arrived, I they saw that it was. A massacre. Guards were just slaughtered. They were not just killed, they were also half eaten. Eaten as well. So, whichever assassin got here first clearly was a cannibal. Or was he a person? And they ended up fighting I mean, the mother and father that they had, that they were also going to to kill, but someone else had already beaten them to it. Their heads were just missing. And half of them, their bodies were also eaten as well. There was clearly a monster here. But Akami ended up getting a strange and weird feeling about it. 
about something. And she wasn't too sure on what it was. I'll scout ahead. Alright, Akame, be careful. When Akame arrived to the garage, she saw that her eyes were widened. She couldn't believe who he, she was seeing. But it was Super Final Wars. He was standing on top of one of the guard. After looking at the little girl. Her and her family were being responsible in killing a lot of innocent people. People who were outside of this country. Basically new people who came to town. And they liked torturing them. And Super Final Wars was here to put a stop to it. He ended up picking up the girl, and before he can actually properly get rid of her by eating her, Akame got his attention. Super Final Wars? He turned around and looked at her. Akame? You're alive? But how? I thought you were dead. I thought so too. But, I'm not. How? I, I, I saw you. We, we were... Eh. Kind of a long story. Very difficult one that you'll find hard to understand, but... Can I, uh, finish this first? Sure, go on ahead. Be my guest. Before Super Final Wars can, can grab the girl, Tatsumi ended up stopping him by trying to punch him and stabbing him with a sword. Dude, you don't need to die. As a matter of fact, I'll show you why this family is not so innocent. Super Final Wars punched him at the door and showed Tatsumi everything. Super Final Wars ended up going back and picking up the girl and ended up swallowing her whole. Wow, you didn't even try to chew her? Well, chewing on her? Well, I figured her swallowing like her hole might be a bit more understandable and a bit more quick. And yet, you did the same thing to almost all the guards and her parents. Hey. Hey. You found me attractive like that, though. Good point. Tatsumi ended up learning everything, and Super Final Wars ended up picking him up and dragging him along with them. And Super Final Wars ended up revealing himself to the others. Holy crap, Super Final Wars, you're back! How are you... alive? Long story. Let's just get back to the base. Everyone got back to the base safely. And for the next two days... Well... About a day later... Was when Sir Fowers ended up explaining everything. On how he survived the explosion. A long time ago, Sir Fowers and Night Ray went out on a serious mission. It was about five years ago when they went out on their mission. Their mission was to, to destroy a very... Well, to take down a very, very secured kingdom. But unfortunately, the island went to self-destruct mode. And Sir Fowers ended up sacrificing himself within a way to protect his friends. No, to protect his comrades.
Ever since then, Night Ray thought that Sir Fowers died. But he gave his friends the location of Night Raid's base. Well, he ended up giving his friends Cairns at 3. Still hasn't run a on the others the location. And everyone thought that he died. But apparently not. So you survived somehow. And you ended up consuming radiation? Wait, does that mean we have to stand back from you? No, apparently. Apparently, I figured that, that my radiation is completely different. Or... You know, it's because of her. Who? Her name is Mothra, the Guardian of Earth. Well, one of the, the Earth's Guardian monsters. She ended up helping me. I think she gave me a little bit of her glitter power, so that way... A part of me can be less radioactive to humans. Oh, that makes sense. Well, the boss would be really pleased to see that you're back. We missed you. I can tell. I expect that you guys couldn't last long, like a second without me around. Good point. About the next... A day later... Here, the boss by the name of Nachida ended up arriving. And she was very shocked to see that Super Final Wars was back. But a comment did they explain for Super Final Wars. And Tatsumi ended up joining Night Raid. But his first assignment and first part of his training was with the Kame. Super Final Wars gave Tatsumi a death glare. As a sign, if, if you touch my girl or do any funny business with her, I will make you regret the day that you were born. So your followers made, I mean, talks to me made sure that he will rather prefer to not mess with her. If he wants to keep his head between, between his body. Well, if he wants to keep his head attached to his body. After all, seeing what he could do with those cards, he rather prefer to not mess with him. But still, there was one part that Akame felt that Super Fire was, was not telling them about himself. And she'll end up finding out later. <laughs> 